In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Freightliner Classic XL for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're going to be checking out the Freightliner Classic XL for American Truck Simulator and this is version 4.7 I believe and we're down at the Kenworth, a oh, Peterbilt, Peterbilt dealer, sorry Peterbilt dealer, I was going to say Kenworth for some reason. Right, let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. So first of all there's one cap, cab, there's the 84 inch and then we have one chassis 6x4 engines there's a heap of different engines we got DDs we got cats we got Cummins we got we got there's the N14 there so there's plenty of uh, engines we'll be checking those out later now transmissions let's see we have Eaton Fuller 6 speed 18 speed 10 speed and 13 speed and uh, they all have retarder there so uh, I'm gonna go 18 speed with retarder that's my favorite now for the interior, this is the interior and you can see it looks very nice. Uh, we've seen this model before plenty of times and it's still keeping the traditional dash and everything. There's just a lot of little subtleties that are changing with every different version that we see. So uh, over here it says exclusive, exclusive black it says now I'm trying to figure out where the difference is between these two but I can't see it it must be something really small if if it if any see I can't see it but now you can actually see the seat there it changes black brown brown black no see there's no no change there I'm wondering if it's calling the wrong file or something don't know uh, having a look around in the back here, it looks brilliant. I love the back of this. It looks really great. Plenty of room, plenty of you know sleeper space. You can got heaps of stuff, extra blankets, you know that sort of stuff in here. Even a microwave, some magazines. I don't know if there'd be the magazine chip would be in there, but anyway, probably porno mags or truck mags would be in there. Um, uh, surprised somebody hasn't gone and put boobies on that calculator because it's only got one, two, three, four, five, six on there. Oh, I, I would have put boobies on there. I know Junior would have put boobies on there. Uh, now let's go off to the outside. So the exterior, the paint jobs, you got polar white, custom color, and yes, that does work. Any custom color you so choose. Then there's skin, the skin one. Now these skins that are in here are very nice color got black and you can go put red on there so it looks really nice and then we've got this one here which allows you to go through and add in a whole heap of different colors if you so choose uh, don't know what that one does spin that one around see I can't see any change there on that and this one here is for the sun visor on the front there uh, over there the next one is that is pretty damn cool I like that and you can go and change the color there you can go and put it on whatever you want and then there is the custom metallic now let's test all three colors one and there's two and there's the last one three all work very good I have to say the one that I like most of all is this one here now you know, bear with me while I try to see if I can do this I think it's more of an orange than anything um, getting that color right is gonna be pretty hard let's see if I can get that one there it's a sort of a an orangey color that I was after like a an old sort of retro sort of look but I can't seem to get it can't seem to get it so I might have to choose something else for now uh, let's see might just have to use that one there I'll just make that a red rather than a there we go make that a red 
that they're a more of a orangey yellow there we go or I could actually I could go and make that junior senior colors look at that there we go actually we'll spin that around no we'll leave that yeah we'll leave that like that there we go cool right I'm happy with that now off to the accessories now there's number plate here I like that danger high voltage uh, sorry yeah high voltage driver I like that one that's pretty cool a uh, whole heap of number plates here rebel so but I am going to put on their danger high voltage driver uh, and then over here you've got a whole heap of different lights and accessories and stuff like that there's those neon ones let's put those in down below it allows you to put in other lights as well which is pretty cool um, I mean you can go crazy on this I'll try and put in every second one see if I can uh, I don't want it to take too long though and is that gonna yeah yeah and is that gonna work out I'm just oh yes that will there we go okay so we could spend hours putting on lights along there and that's what I generally don't like doing so but um, there's bull bars it's heaps of bull bars there's uh, other bumpers you can put on there and I think I'm just gonna stick with that standard one for now if you want to put on little uh, oversized stuff you can I think they're pretty cool uh, flags on the side if you want to put flags on only one flag to choose though then we have the chrome classic you know the classic XL badge that goes on there I reckon that's pretty cool lights different lights now these ones here we'll see if we can that's as close as I can zoom in I feel as though we are a bit far away but anyway you can see that there's some different lights there that you can put on and then you've got the other lights I particularly like those there how it's got the little tinge in there I think that's very cool indeed now along the side there is the wind deflectors and then you go you can go classic like that shield there that is pretty cool mirrors not gonna put them on today uh, that's the wind deflectors that we were looking at uh, the wind deflector up there I particularly like the glass one there and then we have that is do, 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 do. oh is that the mirror on the side there is it or no they're, they're the lights sorry they're the lights now going along the side there's the other side mirror the air filter you can go and add lights on the front of them if you want uh, I'm not gonna bother now it will take me a while to do so driver's plate there's a navigation system co-driver's plate that is the light that we were talking before and then there's a sticker on the top now you can put your own test text in there if you want not going to go into how to do that today but there is an option there for you if you want to sun visor there's a couple of different versions of it I'm gonna put that one on looks a little bit homemade but I'm still gonna use it antennas uh, that is chrome there's only one lot of mirrors there and that's chrome and there is that light again now up the top there there's it says beacons I think that's an inter yeah interior light I'm not gonna put that in there beacon lights and then there's these new beacon lights which I think are pretty damn cool exhaust pipe there you go uh, choose different ones I'm gonna choose those for something different and that dot over there is uh, exhaust pipes as well uh, down there we have the mud flaps now uh, it is a shame that that's as far as I can zoom in but there's two to choose from and uh, it's really hard to tell the difference uh, but there is two different ones stairs you can put on a chrome stairs or aluminum then we have lamps they go all the way along the side again you can go crazy with your lights absolutely nuts uh, the tanks chrome tanks or painted tanks I'm going to put chrome on there on the side now I really really do like this you can have your company 
name on the side there and that's just a matter of changing the def files uh, and then there is you know you can have other company in there summit or there's white ones there if you want so if you want to drive for summit transport which I'm gonna leave on there I actually really do like that I think that's very very cool uh, up the back there if we can get closer let me see if I can there is a step or a toolbox and step auxiliary heater sorry it is and a step then we have there the uh, the fenders see there's a half one there it's very hard to see on this angle half fender Let's see if I can spin it around there is that gonna help that might help a bit better there you go there's a couple of different ones there and there's the step as well now let's have a look at the rims the tires you can it ha does come with its own tires and rims which is very very good uh, make sure that if you you can use any of the standard ones but if you do make sure you put them on properly because if you go and put on any of the other hubs they don't always fit or with this one it's it's not so bad actually I just noticed noticed that it fit on nice and it's not too bad uh, hubs are standard and there is the uh, nuts there classic nuts you can put on there you the, see this the actual standard ones do work on there there we go that's surprising now off to the rear and oh I don't like that fender I'm gonna take that off there we go uh, you can use the ones that come with the tires that come with it same with the rims you can use any of the other rims that you want uh, covers you can put on any of the covers however be careful see how the nuts it's not quite working with this one again that messes it up completely so make sure that you put on the proper rims there we go and it fixes everything up for you all right let's leave those alone and that is pretty much it for the outside looking very nice now the inside going off and there is uh, antenna mirrors mirrors looking very nice and that is that little light which you can't see from the oh no there it is there you can see it there it is silly me um, that is a trip computer now is that light let me have a look at that light oh no it's all right I was thinking it was in a different spot there but it's all good uh, there's a trip computer and there is the mirror on the outside so you can see it very nice and there is a steering wheel a whole heap of custom steering wheels uh, let's go and put on my favorite I love that steering wheel I think that is brilliant the bumpers you can change from the inside uh, pack of cigarettes Marlboro if you want to put them in dash different colors of the dash I'm gonna put that one on there and there is your wind deflector you can just see it from the inside here GPS up top or down below oh, I'm gonna take it out uh, there is your mirror which you can see there is a sandwich or sunglasses you can't see those so I'm gonna put sunglasses on there there is some dots to add some crap on your windshield if you want it's ATS sticker or whatever you want to put on there uh, that is that sticker on the side notice it's transparent that is really cool and then you've got your sun visor up the very top is dangly shit to hang down there you go you can have a skull or whatever let's put that skull there there's the mirrors chrome the dashboard uh, you can have your hula hula girl or the dog or whatever you want hula hula girl uh, that is that chrome thing outside that we had a look at before this is interesting this is a TV so the comedy club there's football match there's some other kids shows or news or or whatever the detective I don't know what that is Bayab uh, we can put we'll just put on a football see what that does uh, there's a sticker over there I don't know what that says something about a bear I suppose and then there is you know a whole heap of other shit you can put in there now 
up the back here, that is... Mud flap. Oh, that's some mud flap. Alright, mud flaps on there. Oh, that's up the back. That's right. I did miss the mud flaps up the back, so I'll go back and fix them. There's the normal mud flaps up the front. Uh, that's that. And I think that is it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly spin around here. There's the mud flap. I don't know if you can see that properly. It's, it is a bit hard. The camera doesn't go down far enough. Uh, Great Dane, Freightliner, there's Freightliner there, and there is that one there. I'm going to just put Freightliner on. There we go. So I did miss that. My apologies, guys. Right, so I'm pretty sure that is everything. If I have missed anything, my apologies. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, sticker. There's a sticker up there. Don't know what that says, but anyway. It says something or other. Well, let's confirm that. There we go. I think that looks schmick. Look at that. And let's do a trade-in on that last mod that we had. And okay. And let's see how long it takes to load. Uh, world is still loading. So the trucks are loading first now. I think that's a bit back to front. I liked it how it used to load. Where the world loaded first and then the truck loaded used to give us a really good idea on how long the truck was going to take to load, but now it just sort of lags it up. Wow, look at that. That looks very nice. Very nice indeed. That really, 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 really does look nice. Wow, I think... Uh, this is probably going to be a truck that's going to give that uh, Volvo, RTA's Volvo, a run for its money. Wow, look at that. Definitely a nice truck. Uh, track IR. I haven't got my Track IR clip put on. The, the Duvalaki, that thing. Uh, and then I will just re quickly reset it. There we go. All right. Now, let's jump on the outside and have a look. Start her up. Oh, listen to that. Very nice. There's the lights. That looks great. I love those lights. High beams. Uh, flashes. Beacons while we're here. They work. Uh, there's no... Those indicators look great, don't they? That's really well done. Brake lights, reverse lights. I think that's really nicely done. Look at that. All right, let's turn those flashes off and wipers. Oh yeah, the wipers are working. There you go, you can see it from there. Horn, air horn, no air horn. Uh, now let's jump on the inside. It's purring nicely. Listen to that. Wipers are working on the inside. That's good. Turn them off. Indicators. Yep, we got indicators. Uh, now cross your fingers. Display. Ah, oh, yes. Display is working. Yes. Ah, oh, very, very good. Now we'll go over and test those other engines, shall we? Okay. Over this way. Those gauges are nice, aren't they? They're lit up, they look really cool. Like old school gauges. Alright, let's check this engine. So this is the current one. Now let's test another engine. Uh, the cat, that was the DD550. Confirm. And we'll start this up. Oh, delayed start. There we go. 
That was a delayed start. That was weird. And then we have Cummins. I was just about to say there's no sounds, but then it just went fired up really quickly. Uh, let's try this. Wow, that is very loud, isn't it? Very, very loud. And what else was there? That was the CAT 3406. C15 should be a different sound. And let's see. Yep. Uh, the sounds are soft and loud and, you know, it's a bit all over the place there. There's the Cummins ISX signature. And then let's go in and try the N14. There we go. Start her up. Wow, that is really loud. I'm just turning that down because Actually, I'm going to switch back to the DD because that engine was actually quite loud. There we go. So that's one of the problems with this truck, that the, the engine sounds were quite loud. So to me, that's, that's, a, that's an issue. So, but probably to many of you, you wouldn't be too bothered. I'm just going to take a shortcut here. Now, let's take it for a drive. This, so far, this is really nice to drive. I'm just, you know, driving normally here, going through town. And straight away, straight away, sorry, I got the hiccups. You can see that it's, it's handling nice, it's not misbehaving, it's just really driving well. And that's what I like to see in your truck mod. So, uh, I, I'm really thinking this is a very, very, very strong contender for the weekly drive. But guys, it's not up to me, it's up to you. Would you like to see this in the weekly drive? If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass, and that not only tells me that you want to see the, this truck in the uh, weekly drive, but it also tells me that you like it, blah, 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 that sort of thing. So, And by the way, guys, your vote does count. I really can't stress that enough, that it, it really is very important, your vote, okay? So make sure you get in there and vote. But if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. There's plenty more videos there for you to watch. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, guys, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.